Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to episode 7 of season 2 Small Tribes. Before I start this episode, I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Salty Arc. Salty Arc is releasing season 2 of their Trio Tribes 5x cluster on February 19th, which is 3 days from now. Their Trio Tribes cluster features all the maps. It has a 2 month season cycle, 5 times rates, and is tuned for non-hasty pleasant progression. It is especially good to play with a couple of your best friends. It also has a very fast machine, a lot of premium plugins such as anti-mesh, MAGA PvP, cross-server chat, new player protection, and a lot of quality of life improvements including solo farm. Admins themselves are very experienced PvP players who always dreamt of a cluster like this. And before you may ask, they don't play on their own cluster. Everything was carefully tuned, balanced, and tested, and even battle forged by the first season. Now Salty Arc is ready to open its gates towards a new season of PvP survival. And to add even more, they have a second cluster for those who didn't survive on the Trio Tribes main cluster, which is 100 times and it is very fun. If you guys are interested in joining this server, the link for the Discord will be in the description down below. And there you will find all the information you need, such as the links and the IPs. Salty, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. And yeah, let's jump straight into it. Alright guys, so the event just started. Um, so you guys know what we are about to do. Definitely about to go raise tons of shit. So I brought all of my babies over. And I am about to hatch all of these, uh, two snow or three snow owls, some dinos, tegrexes, quetzes. Uh, these theories right here, we just got them. They're really good. They're like 920 melee. And uh, yeah, so let's see. I am pretty sure these tapis are going to be uh, top stat like HP. So like, I think it's like capped now on small tribes, which is like 16.7k HP. Um... So let's see, uh, I think, what else is about to pop? Yeah, it's the theories. I feel like the theories are gonna be good. On this event, we're going crazy, boys. We're about to start farming tons of shit. Oh. Let's see the stats after. Sixteen point seven. It's a female. I'll have to raise it. This one's gonna be a personal one, so I can already rename. We have tons of shit. Oh god. Okay, let's see. They look uh, pretty nice. No cap. Can I imprint to you? There's one last one. I had it right here. There you go. Okay, these ones, we will whistle everything out. Now we can check. So, this one is a female, definitely keeping it for a female. And we have 920, ooh, this one's a really good one. Let's see. So, I got really lucky with those, actually. I got like, I hatched like six or no, uh, seven, no, six actually. And I had four, five of them turned out to be females and just one male, which is like the perfect combination I could ask for. Now let's rename this the female breed. All right, guys. So I'm hatching more stuff today. Um, as you guys know, it is the breeding event right now. I think it's like three X breeding, so Expect to see a lot of PvE in this episode. Um, so yeah, let's hatch some stuff. And I'll actually just crow it for now, but uh, here are our Quetzal stats. 17.3 um, HP. I think it's like top line right now, so... Uh, so yeah, it does look pretty cool as well. Let's cryo this, and then um, I think we have well, we have theories. I'm really excited by the theories because we have like a new line, and it's like really good. So hopefully we get like a male or something um, that I can keep personally. Then I'll hatch like 50 dino eggs and one Anki egg. And uh, hold on, I I'll go show you guys the eggs I have in my fridge real quick. All right, so I have some Giga eggs in my fridge with a little uh, Quetzal. But yeah, I wish I could show you guys where my cave is. I know some of you probably already can tell. 
because you maybe already built her or something but for now I'm just trying to keep it low key because uh, I know a lot of people are gonna try to come grief us once they know where I live oh my god we're raising so much stuff right now it's actually incredible so we just use this base as a breeding for now but um eventually when maybe the events over or something we might move everything from the gen pillar to here but for now we're just trying to keep it safe and the gen pillar is really safe so here are all of my tames i raised in this event uh when i joined the tribe here i think i had around like one row of tames and uh, as you guys can see i did raise like a bunch of stuff i still have a couple babies actually i have to raise those yeah just three but i raised like tons of manas um i still want to raise tons of gigas because i only have i have three juveniles in here i should go throw them out for imprint but um yeah uh i still have like another batch of giga eggs so hopefully I can finish this event with at least like at least 45 gigas. Um, as I'm raising 25 now, I think I should be fine with another batch or two. Um, we did get fob bound already, so uh, once I am once I'm comfortable with showing where our cave is to everyone, uh, I'll upload that video of the little uh, base defense. And also I have some clips of the building, but for now let's just focus on raising shit so let's see oh my god exceptional kibble you have to be kidding me and actually guys i do want to raise one more thing in today's episode and that is some crystal blood wyverns we have a pretty good line so oh my god server's going down in 15 you have to be joking how do you oh they're already on mating two hours on this one four two this one isn't on timer Let's enable mating on it. So we're probably just gonna end up having one egg. Oh wait, I have two already. Okay, that's nice. Actually, might be three. Considering these are, yep. Yeah. Never mind, boys. Ended up ending with four crystal blood wyvern eggs. Let's hope uh, the timer on them is low, so I can pop them uh, and go do homework after. But. All right, guys, we got 20 or 10 seconds on the theories. So uh, let's see it. I really hope I get the good stats, which is like 19 KHP and 920 melee. All right, boys. So uh, as you guys can see, we got nine theories and one of them is like six something. No, yeah, 637 melee. I just crowded it because um, you never know if uh, you'll need it but oh another one is 860 as well wait it's not bad i hatched like i don't know like maybe 10 or 11 eggs i guess and got like nine really good ones so let's go oh boys <clears throat> god damn the dinos hatched uh oh my god I'm just trying to imprint at least like 15. And the boat soccer's hatched as well. You gotta be joking me. <clears throat> Boys, I'm about to die. Man, there's so much shit I have to imprint. I'll show you guys the Bloodstalker stats in a sec. Let me just imprint all of this so I can like... Oh my. I gotta go grab some meat real quick. What should I do here? Like, there's so many of them I have to feed. No way, I get to feed all of them actually. Alright boys, as you can see, our stats though are 4.1k HP. What I'm gonna do is just imprint on those and drag them away. It'll be easier. As you guys can see, there is uh, a lot of them that survived. I think only like four or five died from the 50 eggs I hatched. 
but uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the HP on our dinos is 4.1k HP, and on our Bloodstalkers, I didn't even show it, even though I said I will. Uh, we have 12k HP and 655 melee, and like decent weight and stam, so they're really not that bad, they're really good. And the one last thing I had to raise today is Blood Wyverns. They're really easy to raise and we have a decent line. I think this isn't even the best line we have. I think we have a better male. I don't know why we, we use those. But pretty much, they, you don't even have to feed them once. They survive their whole uh, raising process. So they're really easy to raise. So I decided to raise a couple just so I can go uh, blow up PvP with uh, Vindactor style. But yeah, in the next few episodes, I'll be showing you guys uh, the whole building of the cave. You guys probably already guessed it by uh, this episode. But um, if you didn't, then you'll see in the next ones. I hope you guys enjoyed this PvE video. I wanted to put some PvE farming and crafting in, but uh, I think the raising is just enough uh, PvE clips. So uh, sorry if you don't like these type of videos, but right now is like a huge breeding and farming event, so uh, I, have, I had to show you guys just a little part of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching until the end if you did. And uh, make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this episode and subscribe if you are new. And also don't forget to join my Discord and the Discord of Salty Arc uh, Clusters. They will be in the description down below. And, and yeah, thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.